you had to pick any three sports figures, past or present, mm. to be your drinking buddies, who would it be? Um, well, that's a really interesting question. Uh, any sports figures from the past? Well, I'd like to sit down with Walter Payton, if okay. I could. Uh, loved watching him play football. I, I know John Lester a little bit through Twitter, mm -hmm. and we've been little pen pals, and I think it'd be fun to actually sit down and have a beer with him. Right. And then, you know, I would throw, I'd throw Rizzo in the mix. Okay. Let's make, you know what, maybe throw Schwarber in there, too. Let's there just, go. Let's get the group. Let's get a solid yeah, group. Let's get, I would like going. to talk about the Cubs a little bit. That would be, but that would be a nice But having sweetness at the table just adds, yeah. A, yeah. you know, another worldly element. Just another the, element. Just bring it all together. An interesting guy from the past. Yeah. Right? And, you know, hey, I'm surprised, though, as a Chicago guy, you didn't say Harry Carey. That would be another. Well, you know, that's a different kind of night of drinking. Yeah, that's true. At 38, I don't know if my liver can handle it. As I said earlier, I'm tired. You got, a, if, you got twins at home. Yeah, 10 years ago, I would have loved to run around Chicago all night, but Harry Carey's stories are so legendary. Right. That that's not a conversation. That is a weekend of party. <laughs> that's another movie that's premise right there. Sadly, you know what? Back in the day, it would have been Harry Carey. Now I would love to have a drink with Steve Stone. His old partner in crime. Oh, wow, yeah. And just, I would like to have a nice kettle on ice and just talk the ins and outs of baseball <laughs> with the captain, Steve Stone. <laughs>